Hey, how's it going? Today I want to talk about the most important thing that every DJ needs. No, it's not a music collection, and it's not a mixing board, and it's not even a turntable. Now, it's not enough to have this thing, but you need to know how to use it properly. And if you don't, you need to learn. Now, this thing I'm talking about, you can't even see it. And if you can see it right now, you've got big problems in your life. I want you to stop watching this video right now and get help. That thing I'm talking about, it's in here, your brain. So what is common sense? Well, it's basically what most people would find reasonable and of good judgment. So we're talking about logic here, and a little bit of logic can go a long way. Let's say that you're a mobile DJ and you're doing a wedding. Now you've got people at this wedding ranging in age from 16 to 65, but most of the people at this wedding are 50 and up. It would be reasonable and of good judgment to start the evening out with some older music and play to this crowd and possibly progressing into some newer music for the younger people as the night went on. Now maybe you wouldn't. You'd have to stick around and use your logic to see what's happening with the crowd as the night progresses. Maybe the young people give up and leave early, but you're still playing to the majority of the crowd. Now another good thing to do would be to play some middle of the road songs that both the young people and the old people would enjoy. Now, if you started the evening off with, let's say, Tupac and Akon, that would not be very good judgment, and most of the people in that room would find that a very unreasonable choice. Let's say you're a bedroom DJ, and you're only interested in spinning hard house. It would be unreasonable to assume that you could go out and be a wedding DJ. Now, let's say you've never DJed at all, but you went out and bought yourself a bunch of brand new shiny DJ equipment, and then you started booking gigs. Well, all of a sudden you figure out you don't have a lot of music and you have no idea what to play for these people. Well, it was pretty bad judgment on your part to assume that you could go out and be a mobile DJ like that. It's kind of like if you went out and you bought yourself some scrubs and a stethoscope and decided to be a doctor. It doesn't work that way, and that's just common sense. As a DJ, you're going to find there's a lot of problem solving involved. Now, sometimes this problem solving is mechanical. Maybe when you plugged in your rig, everything didn't power up like it should have. Well, you need to know how to troubleshoot this. You know, just basic going through it, making sure there aren't any bad cables, make sure everything's plugged in properly. Basic troubleshooting. It's pretty essential, and it's problem solving. Now, maybe your problem is on the dance floor. Maybe you had a packed dance floor five minutes ago, and now they're all gone. Well, what do you do? I'm going to share with you something I learned in high school. One of the few things I actually retained that I learned in high school, it's called the scientific method. It is a process that you can use to solve most any problem. Now, the first step of the scientific method is to figure out what the problem is. State the problem. Our problem is our dance floor is clear. Second step is to gather information. Well, we know it's a dancing crowd because they were out here dancing. We know that they really liked the hip hop I was playing earlier. This crowd ranges in age anywhere from 18 to 30. And about five minutes ago, I switched to country western music. Okay, there's the information we've gathered. Now let's form a hypothesis, which is kind of an idea or a thought of maybe what the problem could be. Maybe the problem is I play country and I should have just stuck with hip hop and R&B. So, maybe what I should do is put hip hop and R&B back on. So next, step four is we test our hypothesis simply by turning the country music off and throwing the hip hop and R&B back on and seeing what happens. Now we gotta analyze our data. Now what happened when we tested our hypothesis? Everybody started dancing. So the final step of the scientific method is to draw a conclusion, which is country was probably a bad idea and I should have stuck to the hip hop. Now I think there are actually like nine steps to the scientific method. There's something about publishing your findings and all that, but yeah, we're just gonna worry about those six. Good way to solve problems. 
And uh, before I wrap this video up, I wanted to just talk about a couple things that you can do as a student, if you're in school, to prepare to be a DJ someday. There are a few classes that would be really beneficial to you. And they're not even music classes. Drama. Drama classes would be great because this is really performance when you're up being a DJ, be it club or mobile. Another great class to take, or classes to take, would be Psych and Soch. Psychology and Sociology. Psychology is how people think. Sociology is how people think in groups, which is what DJing is really all about. It's psychology of the dance floor and sociology of the crowd. Another class that would be great for you to take would be debate. Debate's awesome. Uh, and any kind of discussion classes would be good. Any kind of classes where you can do some improvisational debate, kind of, you know, it's, it's good stuff. The last one that comes to mind that I got something out of would be your English class. You need to know how to talk. Now, I don't have a vast vocabulary, but, uh, you know, I'm getting a grip on the English language, and it helps when you're on the microphone to know how to speak English. So, there you have it. There's my video. Use your head. Practice and enjoy.